danger. Look at this red line here. All the way up here. In the United States. Let's look at the temperature differences. 60s, 70s, 50s. A lot of wind. The yellows are possible damaging winds. The green is strong cell. But look at how it um, look at how it comes up and then it curves around right here. See that going up around there, right there? And here are the clouds. This looks totally bizarre. This, this. Let's look at another slide. Okay, National Weather Service. Uh, we'll put it on the loop image. And then look at over here. What's that? It's like an inland hurricane. But it goes. Uh, all the way through here and watch this grow right along here. Oops. Look at that. And then that red line is the dangerous line. Not that the rest of it isn't, but this is pretty dangerous. And here is the time camp well, it's over here somewhere. There it is. Eleven twenty nine. Slower again. No. Now this is the big version. I'm going to move it to the small version so we can see it just a little bit better. Oh, look at right in there. There's even like a little, see that little tornado like looking thing right there. And look at a weird triangle shape in there also. Okay, so let's make it smaller. So we can see. see how this comes up and around almost a perfect circle. Very dangerous. Now it just so happens that in North Dakota here they're protesting the pipeline and it just so happens that that this says a North Dakota governor orders pipeline site protesters to evacuate. November 28th. The Osita Gowan Camp is seen in a snowstorm during a protest against plans to pass the Dakota Access Pipeline near Standing Rock Indian Reservation near Cannonball, North Dakota, USA, November 28, 2016. North Dakota Governor Jack, this name is so crazy, Daryl Pimple, <laughs> ordered an emergency evacuation on Monday for protesters at the main camp near the Dakota Access Pipeline due to harsh winter conditions, his office said in a statement. Winter conditions have the potential to endanger human life, especially when they are exposed to these conditions without proper shelter, dwellings, or sanitation for prolonged periods of time. Not that a pipeline break isn't going to cause, isn't going to endanger human life. Um, and here on Wikipedia, they talk about weather modification. Weather modding is the act of intentionally manipulating or alter, altering the weather. The most common form of weather manipulation is cloud seeding to increase rain or snow. If, and I think this is a little behind, and it is Wikipedia, and this can be written by anybody, basically. Most common form of oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, weather modification can also have the goal of preventing damaging weather, such as hail or hurricanes, from occurring, or provoking damaging weather against the enemy as a tactic of military or economic warfare, like Operation Popeye. The link for this will be below, and you can click on that and find out about that during the Vietnam War. Weather modification in warfare, now notice that word, warfare has been banned by the United States. It doesn't mean any other time. So if 
they decided to change the weather in North Dakota into a snowstorm, then it's not technically warfare. And it's sort of an economic warfare. So here they have a whole history of it. I would suggest reading the whole thing if you were going to read it at all, not just parts of it. So this site is the Agricultural Defense Coalition. A lot of information on this site. The link will be below. Now if we go down here just a little. Zoom. Zoom. Uh, these exponentially growing programs have no government or public oversight. So this is interesting to read about. So keep going down, keep going down. NOAA spreadsheets listing ongoing weather modification programs in the United States. So let's just click on one. Now look at all of this. Look at who's sponsoring. Southern Nevada Water Authority, Truckee River Fund, Clark County, Pacific Gas and Electric, Utah Water Reserve, Resources, I'm sorry, State of Wyoming, Sacramento Municipal Utility, um, Southern Water Conservative, something, Denver Water Department, Santa Barbara County, Kings River Conservative District. Look at all these. And the dates. And they tell you what they're doing here, where they're at. Um, agent, hmm, I'm not too sure what that means exactly. This is in 2011. So, there's already a lot of money, obviously, put into weather modification. So what happens is the sponsor pays the operator to do the weather modification. And these are companies that you can look up. Western Weather Consultants, North American Weather, Weather Modification Inc., etc., etc., etc. Now, it also happens that on December 4th, which is mm, less than a week, Veterans to Deploy for Standing Rock. Um, and this has been out, that was the 23rd. Um, this has been out for a while, and their plan is to go and stand with the protesters. Okay, now this is the GoFundMe page for the veterans that are going to stand in Iraq on December 4th. Um, there's a video on here. Michael Wood Jr. Um, is running this thing. And um, you should note the amount of donations. And it, um, if you watch the video, you'll listen to why they're doing this. Um, we are veterans of the United States Armed Forces, including the U.S. Army, United States Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Coast Guard. And we are calling for our fellow veterans to assemble as a peaceful and armed militia at the Standing Rock Indian Reservation on December 4th through 7th and defend the water protectors from assault and intimidation at the hands of militarized police force and the DAPL security. And so, in case any of you are wondering why, what's going on in the southeast where the storm was heading along here, one of the recent things that happened at the beginning of November Higher gas prices for U.S. Southeast after Monday's Colonial Pipeline explosion in Alabama. And then also, dry weather set to dominate southern U.S. into November will only worsen the already extreme drought conditions. So, down south is where they grow a lot of produce for the United States. And if produce doesn't um, grow. I'm looking at um, farmers. Let's go back up to the top. Ooh, sorry about that. Farmers report market trends. 
Now I'm gonna whip back down really fast. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, produce. Okay, I found this interesting because um, they're not talking about southern United States um, weather for agriculture. They're saying most value-added vegetable suppliers have made their transition to Yuma. So I'm like, Yuma, what's that? Well, it turns out that Yuma is Yuma, Arizona. Makes sense for growing things. And when I was looking at this website, which the link will be below, I thought this was interesting because here they say races in Yuma, Arizona, and this pink area is Hispanic, and then white alone and Asian alone, black alone, other, and two or more races. But if we move down, 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 down. Okay. There's a lot of information here about you, Matt. I'm going to just pause it. Then. Okay, so the, further down, there's this part that says ancestries. German, Irish, English, United States, Italian, French. But they already showed us that more than half the population is Hispanic. That's bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, the uh, link for this will be below. So I don't know what's going on down south or up north either as much as the reason why they would be having the weather change. But I just thought you would enjoy some of these pictures from Google of pipeline explosions. If you just type it in Google like I did, you can see some of these. They're very beautiful, aren't they? Like fireworks on 4th of July or celebrations. Um, incredible, aren't they? Look at that. Look at just absolutely beautiful like the sun. Something we'd like to have in our backyard or you know, at a school. Something like that. Right? Just absolutely beautiful, don't you think? I'd show you this list of pipeline accidents in the United States in the 21st century on Wikipedia. Um, as we go down, they have all these accidents. <laughs> it's a big list. <laughs> so when they talk about the pipeline being safe, I really want you to think about that and the subtleties of what they're doing to um, stop the pipeline from happening and why. And I mean, it's, you know, got to be just for profit. It doesn't have anything to do with your safety, considering that for a long time. Um, there's been alternatives for energy. Look at all these. This is like not even half of it. So I'll just stop. The link will be below. I'll stop with. Now this is from um, this attorney company. And when we go down here, northern states like North Dakota have seen a virtual explosion in the number of blowouts, fires, and resulting serious injuries, burns, and deaths. Our lawyers have years of experience hand handling oil field claims. So there's money for them, too. Here's an interesting article about military weather experiments, and the link for this will be below. And this is really quick reading. Um, it will kind of freak you out a little. Interesting is on the RSOE feed. Um, all these four, well, except for the 5.1 earthquakes that occurred at almost exactly the same time all around the world, Asia, South America, Pacific Ocean. So, is weather, is this purposely done, made for um, some reason or not? up to you. If you have any ideas about what's going on, please put them below. Thanks for watching. I'm
grateful for you and here at your service.